a mass of 10 kg is suspended vertically by a rope from the roof. When a horizontal force is applied on the mass, the rope deviated at an angle of 45 degree at the roof point. If the suspended mass is at equilibrium, the magnitude of the force applied is. So first of all, let us see an animation of the situation. So you can see that a mass of 10 kg is hanging vertically from the roof. Now I'm applying some force from one side so that it's moving to other side and it is making some angle theta with the roof. So first of all, let us do a schematic diagram and then we'll go to the free body diagram and apply the condition of equilibrium and solve the problem. So first of all, you can see that a mass M is hanging from roof. So this is the roof and we have a mass M hanging from the roof. So one mass is here and that is making 90 degree or it's vertically hanging from the roof and that is moving towards one side because of application of some force. If you are applying some force in this direction, you can see that if I apply some force in this direction, the mass is going to move like this. Now, that mass is making an angle theta degree with the vertical. So this is given as theta and that is 45 degree. If that is the case, you can see that by applying the principles of trigonometry, you can easily say that this is also going to be theta. With the vertical, this is also going to be making 45 degree. If that is the case, let us draw the free body diagram of that mass and try to apply the conditions of equilibrium. So if I take that mass, you can see that in the downward direction, the gravity force is acting and the tension is acting at an angle 45 degree with vertical. So this is the tension on the string. So that is making a theta 45 degree with vertical. So this is 45 degree. So when you are applying the equilibrium condition, what is equilibrium condition? At equilibrium we can say that sigma of f of x is 0 and sigma of f of y is equal to 0. So which are the forces acting in the horizontal direction? See first of all you are applying some force f right? So you are applying some force f in this direction and you know that should be balancing the t sine theta component. This is t and the vertical direction you know that this is t cos theta and the horizontal direction you can see that t sine theta will be acting. So this is t sine theta. So T sin theta in the minus x direction and applied force in the positive, positive x direction. So F minus T sin theta should be equal to zero. Or we can write down that F is equal to T sin theta. Similarly, in the vertical direction, you know, downward weight is acting. That is Mg in the downward direction. Mg should be balanced by T cos theta. T cos theta in the positive y direction. So we can write down like T cos theta minus mg will be equal to zero in the vertical equilibrium condition. Again, you are getting two equations. See, first of all, you are getting equation f is equal to t sin theta and the next equation is, you know, mg will be equal to or we can say that here, you know, t cos theta will be equal to mg or mg will be equal to t cos theta. You divide these two equations. If you are dividing, you can see that t cos theta Gt will be cancelling out sine 45, cos 45, both are 1 by rho 2, both will cancel out and you are going to get the equation f is equal to, f is equal to mg, how much is that mass, mass is 10 kilogram, 10 multiplied by g, so g if you are taking it as 10, you can see that 100 newton will be the answer, so f will be equal to 10 multiplied by 10, this much newton, that means 100 newton is the answer in this case.